I love this car just from the way it looks already and uh, please God What's up guys welcome back to the channel go back to another video and in today's video We are working on the e92 m3 and in today's video We're hoping we're hoping that the car will turn over with no issues now We know from the previous owner that the car had some other little issues before but as long as the car turns over and everything is great in the Navy We can continue the rest of the build um, We're still waiting on a bunch of parts to come in this thing is super hard to find parts on um, like honestly guys Believe it or not like go on eBay and it's super hard to find parts for this car Like even if you want to overpay for one you can't even find it like for example a fender I cannot find anywhere a bumper. I am finding some people center for eight nine hundred dollars used I called BMW with a dealer discount all that stuff's like 780 used So it's cheaper honestly to get from BMW, which is crazy um, My friend just loves being in video like all the time. I don't know what's up with this girl um, But yeah, anywho the goal of today's video. Let's go ahead and swap out the oil I was gonna go ahead and just try to start it without an oil change But we got the new oil from FCP Euro for those of you guys who don't shop at FCP Euro I don't know what you're doing. You got that lifetime warranty literally after this oil change the next oil change I can literally drain it put it back in the bottle send it back and they send me a new one for free. All I gotta do is pay shipping. So I think that is a great deal. FCP Euro is literally amazing with anything at all, including oil, which is the craziest thing. I would think at least oil they wouldn't do it, but they would do it even for the oil, which is just like, what the heck? That's awesome. Now, before getting the car started, guys, we do need to replace the battery terminal back here. We got a used one off eBay, but it is an OEM one, so this should work just fine. I always like going with OEM, so we have no fault codes or anything like that. If you guys go with an aftermarket one, which are way cheaper, you can actually get an aftermarket one brand new. Sometimes they throw fault codes and BMW just doesn't like it. The car itself doesn't like it, so it's better off, honestly, going with the used one for a few extra bucks or possibly the same price than going with an aftermarket one. Just putting it out there. Now what you guys see me doing next is actually the lights in the garage. We finally got these lights from Amazon. I have these linked down below. I think it got like 18 bars for like, I think like 120 bucks. It's a really good deal. And uh, they all connect. So pretty much one switch connects them all and you can light it all up with, you know, click of one button, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, these are the shop lights I ended up getting. Um, I'm installing these as of right now because uh, you guys will find out a little bit later that we ended up getting the wrong oil. Not the wrong oil, but we basically ordered, um, you know oil from my wife's car in my car and half of the oil from my car came in and her oil came in but the other half of my oil did not come in yet so uh long story short um i decided to just at least work on the garage for now and uh you know we, we just wait another day or two and hopefully hopefully when the oil comes in we can continue uh doing the oil change but uh that didn't really happen. Uh, so uh, the next thing we ended up doing is searching for more cars. <laughs> I know, super random. Uh, but yeah, we ended up finding this two series on Copart manual, red interior, 228. Could be a really good nice daily on the channel. Probably do like an M Sport kit on there, something pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, this thing went for a little too much. If you guys don't know how much 228i or even M235 are parts, like used parts, they're going for like M car prices which is crazy um so we had to pass on that um we ended up passing on that you know 328 you guys saw there earlier as well and we even saw a 550i f10 uh i checked out a couple cars i'm just trying to find a car that we can also build on the side on top of the m3 because the m3 we're just waiting on parts to get delivered it's just you know it's just kind of getting annoying and waiting for parts all the time so uh long story short we checked out this 550i it had a bunch of aftermarket wiring it was like basically flooded it smelled like corrosion everywhere um and i'm not a huge fan of aftermarket wiring on top of the fact that it didn't even have a title um, so after that we checked out auto gator and they have a bunch of used cars i mean if you guys don't know who auto gator is they're basically a large company use cars from the auction and they don't even fix it they buy it from the auction then they just up price it to sell to the public so they get the titles they sell to people in the public that want to you know that can't go to auction so they would slightly overpay it's a really smart business but uh, long story short i'm still waiting back home waiting for that oil to be delivered that 10w60 that i cannot find anywhere but i decided in 
instead of actually just waiting and waiting and waiting, because FedEx, honestly, their shipping sucks, I decided to actually try to find a place that actually has the oil. Um, finally found one place that had it. I just double checked to see when my order is gonna be delivered, just in case it's gonna be delivered today or tomorrow. It's still being delayed by FedEx, so I was like, you know what? Um, just we're not gonna wait any longer. This is getting kind of ridiculous. So, we got the keys. We are heading out to get that new oil. And guys, we are finally back home. We got the four quarts from FCP Euro. We got this one from a local place. Reason being is because uh, FCP Euro sent out two packages. One of them got here, the other one FedEx delayed it so long to the point to where I couldn't even get you guys a video. So I decided to go get that thing today because even today it says delayed and I don't wanna push it off for like a week long without you guys actually seeing if this car turns over or not. And I'm also super eager to hear this thing turn over. I'm super stoked. So without further ado, let's go ahead, drain the oil, put the new oil in the car and hear this puppy turn you guys saw me in the last couple of days. Um, we actually replaced the positive terminal, so that's in the car. We have the LED lights in the garage, so now we are ready to get, I mean, look at look how bright it is down there. Like, all parts of the garage, it is super bright, and uh, I'm probably gonna get like, another strand to go up here. I have one going through the front, and that's because I'm probably gonna be parking my car is like facing forward anyway, so if it's facing forward, I can pop the engine bay. We have light right above that, but if just in case it's in like this position, we might need to get some lights up there. But anyhow, let me go ahead and get my drain pants so we can get it underneath the car. There's two drain bolts on this car. Let's get this thing draining. New filter check, oil check, both drain bolts back in there check, and windshield washer filler check. I didn't have to install that right now, guys, but I did want to install it just so we could actually fill it up with some fluids and see if there's any other leaks going on over here. When we got the car, there was a cut through here. So, you know, you man had to get a new one right there. But finally, guys, it is the moment of truth. We have a new battery cable in the back. We have oil in the front. So at this point, guys, we should be able to start this thing up. Hopefully here it's idle. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping it'll idle because the codes it had before um, was like something to do with like mass airflow sensor and I feel like it might cut out and die but we might get lucky and maybe that fix itself. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Again, this is our first startup on the car. We have absolutely no idea what's actually going to happen. And uh, and this video has been literally all over the place. And I'm sorry for that, guys. Um, you guys saw that the lights came in before. We were just waiting on that oil. And, uh, t you know, today was enough. I just went ahead and go bought that last quart. When the next five quarts come in, uh, we'll use that for the next oil change. So it's not a big deal. But anywho, anywho, let's get this thing. Let's get the keys. Let's get the keys. And <laughs> this is the moment, guys. We've all been waiting for right here this is a 40,000 mile LCI E92 M3 competition Woo! well let's start up guys did we score Ooh, okay we got lights in the car that's a good sign this thing could also be dead the battery could be dead guys but a uh, moment of truth oh my god this interior is so beautiful I love this car just from the way it looks already and uh, please God Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! That is a Christmas tree, guys. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> guys, we got a lot of work to do, but uh, oh my god, it's so worth it. This thing sounds so good. We're gonna leave it running for just a little bit because uh, obviously we just put some oil in it. I wanted to lubricate. I wanted to warm up just a little bit. 
but uh <laughs> oh my god this is the dct model too so we also have the shift lights up there on the odometer i don't know if you guys can see those little cutouts those are shift lights i've never had a dct before and uh yes sir this is the new trim that he ended up replacing as well it looks so good we have a brand new airbag coming in the mail i have a uh first gen airbag but i went ahead and got a second gen airbag uh because uh this thing this was the recalled airbag already so i want to put the recall airbag back in here oh okay all right it's settling down it's settling down guys it is idling so well <laughs> i want to give it a rev but let's let it warm up guys let's let it warm up for those of you guys who've had e92 m3s you guys know that these buttons also break really easily so we have all the buttons intact right here in really good shape will this cup holder work oh my god that is coming out slowly too that's working just fine oh i'm so static if you guys don't know as well we also have the individual sound system in here this is probably my most favorite spec i mean honestly if it would have had a manual it probably would have been better but the dct is something that i haven't enjoyed on this car and is definitely a new experience we definitely have to get this thing replaced because the rest interior is mint that's the only thing that's not mint so uh yeah, we need to get that replaced. Let's see if the fan's any good. Yep, the fan's not making any weird noises, no weird vibrations, which means there's no cracks in the fan. That's a huge good sign. We also have the carbon fiber, like the, the, the wrapped carbon fiber from BMW. This looks really, really, really good. I had kind of like the matte black texture, kind of like this, but on the dash on mine, I hated it. I absolutely love this design a lot better. This headliner, I'm probably gonna get it rebuilt by LED Solutions because we have a few tears right over here and I probably want it rewrapped in the exact same material. I cannot find a single person selling this headliner, so unfortunately, Unfortunately, this is a headliner we're gonna have to get rebuilt. Oh, buddy, guys, it is idling so well. I'm just waiting for it to just warm up just a little bit more. We have the airbag lights, we have the brake light, that's normal. Um, traction light, that makes sense. Um, honestly, all these airbag, all these lights honestly make sense because we have honestly that entire assembly on that side ripped off. Sheesh! Guys, check that out out oh my god lci i have just i've never had an lci e92 i mean honestly i've only had an e92 335 is in lci and now this is my first m3 and i've owned probably like five or set honestly like eight e chassis in my life this is the second lci and man does that sound good guys god bless any oil leaks question mark nope zero we're looking pretty good guys i think we did a pretty good job now for those of you guys who are wondering why i haven't even put back the wheel assembly and got this thing on the ground yet the subframe is cracked for those of you guys who didn't see it i'll show it to you guys right now but the subframe is cracked that is a pretty significant repair and i'm still contemplating whether or not we should do rod bearings or not at the exact same time since it's a big job anyways i've never done rod bearings but it's super scary to mess with the engine like that and if i mess that up um i might just take it down to ssr performances i think ssr performance is the best way to go i'll reach out to them after this video and see if that's something we want to partner up on and get done because rod bearings are essential but i don't know if i want to do it it's such a such a like intricate job and if you mess up the, the torque spec in any of them they'll spin out and you blow the engine and this is a very healthy sounding engine i am so hyped but yeah let me show you guys what i'm talking about right here guys the subframe is disconnected and it's actually getting worse and worse by the day so uh yeah that definitely needs to get replaced all right guys i think it warmed up yes it warmed up so let, let's go ahead and sit you guys up and hear some exhaust clips I am so stoked. I cannot wait for this car and this car to be in this garage with the LED lights, get some pictures in here. It's gonna be so, so, so sick. And I, I, I mean, honestly guys, I'm really contemplating. I think I'm gonna take this down to s -Star Performance. We'll do a little road trip down there and uh, get the rod bearings done professionally. I really like uh, when an SSR does their work because it's honestly a guarantee. They, they guarantee their work. And if anything happens to the motor afterwards, and this is a very healthy, low mileage motor, this motor probably costs just as much as what I paid for the car. I want that warranty. I don't wanna mess up a big job like that. For those of you guys who don't know rod bearing jobs, um, it's like 1200 labor or like, or like, let's just say two grand labor. It is also two grand in parts. So if I spent two grand in parts and mess it up, that's also a big no-no. So, I mean, I'd rather just get it all done. And SSR Performance did the crank pump on the F80, and it's been absolutely rock solid since. So again, just for that peace of mind, we're gonna take it on SSR Performance, get the professional stuff done. And the previous owner told me as well that the actuators on this car was done by SSR Performance, so might as well get all those major maintenance pieces done at SSR Performance. Without further ado, guys, that's gonna have to conclude this video. For those of you guys who haven't seen this post yet, this post is gonna be updated very soon. So you guys can see the one series, two series, three series, all the way Z4s, M3, X6s, X7s, one m's um, a bunch of pretty much every single bmw that i could possibly list is on here and we're gonna be putting a picture of our favorite builds for every single one and we're gonna try to do a build 
uh, like two builds of every single car. So if we get like a generation F10, we'd also want to do like an E60 for the 5 Series. And same thing with the M5, an E60 M5, maybe an F10 or an F90. We're going to try to knock out a bunch of things over here. I know for the 1 Series, we've accomplished that. The 3 Series, definitely. The 4 Series, the M4 and the 435. 5 Series, I think just the F10. So we'd have to do definitely another 5 Series. 6 Series, we only had 1 6 Series, 1 7 Series, no 8 Series, no i3s, 1 1 uh, i8. So again, guys, that pretty much gets the gist of that going. Wouldn't that be pretty awesome if we get to actually own and drive every single BMW BMW's ever made? I think that'd be super sick. Also, just to let you guys know a little heads up, I did get some parts in from BMW. We got an OEM BMW bumper. Um, this is the front bumper competition package because it doesn't have the nozzles or the, the PDC sensors. We have the Fender OEM from BMW, and we also got the wheel OEM from BMW. You guys know I'm not slacking whatsoever on this build, so if you guys are excited for the next video, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember, to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time.